Understanding World in Ruins, a Guide to Figurative Language. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, world in ruins. This expression is not just about literal destruction, but it's a powerful tool in English to convey deeper meanings and emotions. Let's dive into understanding this intriguing phrase. The phrase, world in ruins, literally refers to a scenario where the world, or a significant part of it, is in a state of complete destruction. This could be due to wars, natural disasters, or other catastrophic events. It paints a picture of buildings crumbling, societies failing, and general chaos reigning. However, world in ruins is often used figuratively. In literature, films, and everyday language, it can describe situations that are chaotic or disastrous, even if there's no physical destruction. It might refer to economic collapse, moral degradation, or the breakdown of social order. This metaphorical use makes the phrase much more versatile and impactful in various contexts. Let's look at some examples where world in ruins is used. 1. Post-apocalyptic novels often depict a world in ruins to explore themes of survival and humanity. 2. In news media, the phrase might describe the aftermath of a significant event, like a financial crisis, conveying the severity of the situation. 3. In speeches or essays, using world in ruins can be a powerful tool to evoke emotions and emphasize the need for change or action. You can use world in ruins in everyday English to describe situations that feel overwhelmingly negative or chaotic. For instance, saying, after the scandal, his world was in ruins, conveys a sense of total personal disaster. World in ruins is a vivid and expressive phrase in the English language. Its ability to convey deep emotions in complex situations makes it a valuable addition to your vocabulary. We hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate the power of this phrase. Keep exploring the beauty of English, and see you in our next video.